That is Batman the Dark Knight showing up in odd got it location. Jeez. Four, five, six, correct. Uh, after that is the Hulk TV show. Hulk TV show. Really? Well, we've been talking about it, but I mean, is it? It's supposedly coming out next fall. Wow. Okay. And so we thought it'd be kind of fun to do this. And yeah. then go into here and talk about the PSAs because basically all of us are older than dirt and we remember this. So Well, and that's what's really cool about it is that we're starting to see a lot of people, or at least I'm hearing from a lot of people, mm -hmm. who uh, basically see this stuff that we're putting out and they go, oh man, this is like my childhood. And it's like, yeah. it's like... It's becoming it's cool. the old fogies geek <laughs> geeks um, show. Actually, you should probably do a camera check and see. Yeah, that's <laughs> a good idea. Yeah. Like do a round okay. the room and see what we got. What happens is we'll put you on hold. Uh, you hear a little music. We'll introduce ourselves. We'll introduce you. We'll chat just about pretty much whatever. I figured we'd hit Mother's Day for sure, and then whatever else you want to chat about, whatever projects you're working on or that sort of thing. So, I mean, do you have anything you want to talk about? Dental, oh, that's kind of roll. Okay, let me write that down too, so yeah. I have it. So, because I got a really nice autographed uh, Mother's Day copy of Mother's Day here on the, on the desk. Thank you so much. For yeah, that. thanks for that, by the way. Yeah. That was awesome. Um, and okay, cool. So that's pretty much it. Do you have any other questions for us? This is, uh, by the way, this is live to tape. So, well, if we kind of really screw up too badly, we can kind of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's all good. We can always bleep you in. That's right. right. So. Well, um, you you got a new project out. Let's talk about that. Real yeah, quick Devil's before. Carnival. Let's yes. talk about that. Definitely. Yeah. Well, Devil's Carnival is Terrence and I's follow up to Repo. It's a uh, it's another. Hold on, my wife's making obscene gestures. She's listening. To <laughs> I, I, I was going to say, is it wrong that I've got South Park going through my head right now? I, I, just <laughs> I don't know. know. Right? For some reason, I uh, have the the Hell Lou Hour going on. Absolutely. Because Super Eight kind of got formulaic at the end. It, it, yes. Absolutely, it did. It got Spielbergy at the end. It, 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 it got, got very Spielbergy. Spielberg this didn't. Yeah. This went someplace completely and, different. And, and, and as far as like the found footage stuff goes, it never it never said this was found, and it didn't do it exclusively from that guy's video camera. Like they would switch to. Well, like, really that cameras, was yeah, brilliant. News cameras. Yeah, that was brilliant. So Places where you the, knew they could not possibly be filming. As long as the camera would have had, could have been filming, they would switch to that. Yeah, which, yes. Which, and they didn't ATM have to tell you about it. Right? It was just inherent in the logic, and it really worked. It did. Yeah. Um, and I got to tell you where I thought it was really brilliant was um, if you remember the very first alien, right? When they first go into the alien ship, and they. They find the alien ship there, and they see this big ass, huge right. alien with his chest blown open, right? And if you just catch it in the in the preview, you notice it's the same ship and the same alien, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So so it's on silent. Bring up your earphones. Okay, so we're basically open. We're, we're not even close. You're going to run okay. the VD thing. I'm going to cover with you're the You're going to run the VD thing. Then we're going to news. I'll figure out what the hell to cover that with later. Okay. Yeah, he's and, like, he's uh, like, then I never wanted con to be report, con the report, and we're out. Con report, con report, con report? There's two con reports? Well, it's con it's report, so open the actual like, con report, oh, like, no, which I is your room shot. Oh, right. What's the con I report again? Is that Geek Nation? Yeah, yeah, it's the Geek Nation tour thing. I forget that there. I always forget that. Well, I know. So we got. Jim Jam. Whoops, never Come on, my Jim Jam. Oh, That's what's funny. Because I wasn't introduced. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Megan. Uh, <laughs> okay. Actually, Kelly, I, that's Megan. I, and just leave I, it at that. Okay. I'm not going to introduce Megan to you because, well, we don't care about Megan. Because I'm lame. Wow. <sighs> no. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> okay, nice. So, so, Megan. Yes, I'm sorry. You can put Brian's sister Kelly if you want. Or Brian's sister is always funny. Or Brian's sister is fine. That works. Any of those. Kelly. I like And on um, so, Yes. Yes. Cherry ice cream. It smells. Yeah. Cherry. Cherry ice cream. <laughs> Why would it? Do that? I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm with okay. you. It's I'm gonna just, check all the other ones just to see what they all say. Phone. So I am just my so phone. No, Her phone. Awesome. Right. Wait, what is that? No, do you no. have a drive nope. too? It's got to be that. And that's right. Back and back and that's good. They're that's all yellow. Open C. That's all blue. That's good. Can I open two at the same time? It's glowing. I don't know. I've never tried that. Yes. Yes, you can. Sounds like it's nowhere. Ooh. Okay. So I got. Just saying. Yeah. And you should, your phone for a while. And it should, same, right? it should be there. Take this and drop it one. Just drop it down one. Uh, yeah. Just, yeah, go down and come back up with it and see if it straightens out. All right, here we go. That's right. No, what happened? Something happened. Stop. Oh, shoot. Sure. <laughs>
Wireless application stopped working. It stopped. What happened? It stopped. It froze and it, it froze? crashed. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, nice. Megan's fault. Yep, yep absolutely. I agree. I agree. Hold on, wait for me to broadcast so, today. It's my fault. So, FYI, All when, right, when Sam's doing teases, broadcast. they may be funny. Don't. Laugh. No noise. No noise. <laughs> no <laughs> they should noise. be funny. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Got no they should be funny. They Not should just be funny. Should be no, and, uh, okay. Somebody else who's here. Well, you and Tom. Tom. How come when I have my um, headphones on, I can hear everybody but else but myself? So we'll need to turn that up. Some that's, yeah, I'm just, I'm just oh, saying. Because well, no, because she can't hear herself. Yeah. Okay. She hears everybody else. Yeah. Then I hear everybody else, else. but I can't. Uh, yeah. Just go to podcast. It might be the headphones. Okay, one more time. Here What's we feeling? go. One of this months. Come on. He sings, he dances, he wears tight little shiny pants. He's the Batman. If we're lucky, they'll be jazz hands, too. Did Tom Cruise use Scientology to help predict the future? It sounds a little bit like an impossible mission, don't you think? <laughs> Ridley Scott has caught sequelitis. It's a disease. Can we cure him in time? All that, plus you'll... Will you about a San Diego Comic-Con event you won't want to miss? Kurt is here to stump us in trivia, and we've got a con report. That's all coming up on today's episode of Slice. <laughs> what are you going to do? It's <laughs> awesome. I read it five times before the show and didn't even catch it. <laughs> And welcome everyone to another slice of sci-fi. I'm Michael Armenengay. I am Brian Brown. I'm Sam Roberts. I'm Brett Philippek. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I ran out of Noel Richmond for a second. I am Shiva the Destroyer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, awesome. 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 Yeah, hey, why does this say Brett Philippek? That's wrong. That <laughs> is wrong. I've and got hair! <laughs> Uh, you don't get to be anybody. I don't. I'm the live it's actually, That's audience. actually my sister Kelly. She's joining us in the studio. But let's get to some news. Oh. Uh, now that he's finished work on Prometheus, folks, director Ridley Scott is ready for... Wait for it. Wait for it. Too? He's coming back to do Blade Runner. Really? A really? oh, sequel. You awesome. bet. Uh, he said, we have, we have a very good take on it, referring to the script by Hampton Fanker. Uh, Scott also reveals the sequel will be set some years after the original. <laughs> Scott said, yeah, you kind of have to be. Yeah. Uh, Scott says that he'll be looking to shake things up in the Blade Runner universe. and will definitely be featuring a female protagonist. Ooh. Women of the world unite and rejoice. So cool. I think that's pretty cool. But I like it. I, I don't know. I, I almost wanted to see a prequel rather Bring than a sequel. Bring back Sean Young. No. 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 She's no. shot old at this point, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh. <No. laughs> and and extra batshit yeah. crazy and not in the yeah. fucking way. Yeah. 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 No, no. One of the technical wonders of Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol has gone from sci-fi to sci-fac. Really? In the movie, Ethan Hunt, played by Tom Cruise, of course, manipulates a map superimposed on a car's windshield. Pioneer has made that technology a reality with the introduction of the... Oh, I hate this name. Oh, it's a Carozeria. Carozeria Cyber Navi AR heads up display. Marketing needs what? to rethink that. What? It's a HUD. What? It's yeah, a it's HUD. A, it, they've been trying to do this for a while now, and it, it, I, I don't know. I, I've seen the prototypes of yeah. it, but it, it, it looks interesting. It does look cool. I'm just not sure how distracting it's I'm, going I think to be. I'm a little too old farty to adjust to all that new information coming at exactly. me, but maybe the kids can do it. I don't know. The display puts an augmented reality style graphic in front of the driver, allowing him to see the streets overlaid with real time GPS mapping information and directions. The system is scheduled to hit the streets of Japan. They always get the new stuff first. <laughs> in July, but there's no word on when this might get to the U.S. And while you can't manipulate the system by touch like Hunt does in the film, it's still a first step towards making what was once impossible a reality. This That's two Mission Impossible puns makes in more one sense, script. Though. Michael, no more puns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Two pun limit. No, no, puns are, are great, yeah. Michael. We don't care. So yeah. That's kind of cool, but I'm, I'm with Mike. Yeah, well, we've seen it tried to be done before, uh, and it kind of... This is not the first time. Yeah. This, this will make there. more sense on a Google car than drives itself. Here's the yes, problem. Yes. Here's the problem is that you get so caught up with the ooh shiny in front of you, you crash. that you forget mm -hmm. about driving. And yes. crash. So Although this be it's being marketed in Japan, they're all crappy drivers. Oh, oh no. No. 
Michael R. Menengue. I didn't say why. No, he did not say why. All right, let's move right along. That's Mike at SliceOfSciFi.com. Yes. Send me your hate mail. I love it. Is that the VD PSA? Yeah. <laughs> wow. God, was this filmed in the 70s? Wow. <laughs> I can't. Oh, no. That Does is fucked up. No. <laughs> and the horse? The horse has VD. <laughs> <laughs> or the woman. <laughs> or you get it from horses. Uh, it's for everybody. I'm pretty sure you get it from horses. You know, okay, you're going to have to roll right back to the news right now. Oh. Wow. Wow. All right, am I up there? Oh, right. yeah. We're going to blame Jeffrey for that. Uh, oh, hang on. I, I didn't I didn't run. Wow. I, I, yeah. No, no, no. Wait, what happened? What am I doing? Never mind. <laughs> Oh my god! Now I screwed it up. I forgot to hit record. We're had, professionals, I forgot, folks. I forgot really? to hit record because. See, see what happens when Jeffrey's here pointing the big camera at us? Mike oh. is nervous. Ah! Megan yeah. breaks things. I, should, I blame Red. That's it. Yeah. I am the harbinger of Doom. death. Doom. Okay, one more time. Let's try that again. Do I have to do something? I'm gonna go to the room you, shot. Yeah, you need to go. Uh, no, Wait, don't no, go to the room we're... shot. Go to see. the uh, news. News oh, is next. the news. Yep. Wait, but didn't we already do the news animation? Yeah, but you do it again. Yeah, you do it again? I haven't been doing it again. Yeah, yeah you do it again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> one, more, one more time. Let's try. And Where's go viewing? ahead. <laughs> Whee! Yes, indeed. What fun we're having tonight. Okay. Attendees to the upcoming San Diego Comic Con may feel like zombies after a day or two of trying to cram in uh. as many panels, events, and meet and greets as possible. But what if instead of feeling like a zombie, you were trying to escape from one? Dun, dun, dun. You could be doing just that at San Diego's Petco Park with The Walking Dead Escape. Created by Skybound and Walking Dead creator Robert Kirkman, The Walking Dead Escape is an obstacle course where participants can do one of three things. Okay. Be a survivor, race through a zombie-infested evacuation zone, be a walker who joins the ranks of the undead, or a spectator who watches from the sidelines during an escape party. I, I, I think I'd have to do all of them. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Audiences in Anaheim, St. Paul, San Jose, L.A., Oklahoma City, Colorado Springs, and Loveland, Colorado, will have an opportunity to see the Dark Knight and other Gotham inhabitants sing and dance as part of the U.S. <laughs> tour of Batman Live. Yay! Wow. <laughs> With Robin, yes. yes. The Holy show. cow. <laughs> yes. What the heck was that? I know. I did, if you missed yes. the image, if you're not watching the video, you really oh, missed I something. Show it again? Yes, yes please. Awesome. please do. Okay, so the oh, show. Oh, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Let's see. Uh, no. Can I continue, please? Yes, Thank please you. Yes. So the show kicked off last year in the UK <laughs> and has made the jump across the pond for US audiences. The That's story so awesome. centers on the formation of the Batman and Robin partnership as the two battle the Joker, the Penguin, Two Face, Poison Ivy, Catwoman, Harley Quinn, and several other villains from the Dark Knight Rogues Gallery. I want to see wow. this so Way bad. Way too many villains in one thing. Okay, yeah, okay, 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 wait. They did not learn from Spider-Man 3. Okay, wait. Now, if that's not enough for you, Vivid recently announced that they'll bring oh, a parody of, a parody oh, of Christopher Nolan's Batman franchise release of Dark Knight Triple X, <laughs> a porn <laughs> parody. You know it was uh, nice. <laughs> It's vivid. <laughs> so once again, Axel Braun will direct the latest installment in the genre setup of parody franchise. The, uh, this version of Batman will be available online July 31st and in stores August 7th. Nice. For those of you like Mike Lorman and Gay, who can't get enough. Mm, nice. Oh, my. Wow. I, 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 okay, well, one more time here. Wait, no. Which we'll clean all this about? up in post. Wait, yeah, we can fix it. No, this one that says trivia, that one just came up. Yeah, but right. he has. Yeah. But he has. Yeah. But he has. But it was Geek Nation Tours was continuing to play. That's, That's what was playing. I know, but I played trivia first, and you told me it was wrong. No, no, no you didn't. No, no, no. You did, you, no, no, no. <laughs> no, trust me. No, it, it was I was wrong, not you. Oh. You were fine. Oh, I assumed it was me. No, it was not you. <laughs> Just stop right. assuming you were right. You were fine. <laughs> we'll fix all this Some, uh, somehow. <laughs> we'll figure out where it's I'm at here. It's yeah, anime. There's just no. You let me so do much. that. You oh, have huh. your stick. <laughs> I have mine. <laughs> 
<laughs> you do. <laughs> yeah, I, I. <laughs> I think it is absolutely awesome that William Shatner is awesome. called in exactly. and yes. for us. Impressive. My man, I can't believe God. We're just yes. absolutely. Yes. That's the way it is. That's, that's it, awesome. that is the kind of talent that this show attracts. Exactly. It's amazing. It's amazing. Bill, it's Bill Shatner, we appreciate that. Thank <laughs> absolutely. Thank you for that. And I think we will actually have some more from him. Cool, so, that's really awesome. Absolutely. Cool. Always good to hear the con report. Uh, all right, we got a few minutes left. Mm -hmm. And I think Uncle Mikey has something he wants to talk about. Oh. I do. Who was who finished um, House season finale? Oh, no, House? I haven't watched the You haven't? No. Oh, damn. We yeah. can't talk about it. Ah! I was going to catch up on like, that Netflix or something. That sucks. Yeah. All right, You're on your fine. own. Success. We've thwarted his plans again. Okay. <laughs> it's, all, it's all you guys then. I'm, what what, what are you talking out. about? Um, Game of Thorns? God. Thorns? <laughs> uh, you know, I really wish Tim was here so we could talk about how... Uh, Tim and I can talk about it. How far, it's, how far it's diverged I from the books. Yeah. Oh, I can so play the role yeah. of Tim if you it's like. It's gone crazy. Yeah. And just grouse. It's gotten really crazy. Yeah. Put your hat on. And it, yeah. it may diverge even more, right? Because the next one is the Battle of Blackwater Bay. Right. And that was so epic in the book that, you know, they probably had how to tear it down. One? And, yeah. you know, budgets and whatever. They say it's going to be big, but I still... I, mm. I can't imagine how they're going to do that. And the chain. There hasn't been anything about, about the, the chain leading up to it, True. right? Yeah. And so I wonder if they killed that entirely, which would be a bummer, because that was cool. Yeah. Did they, they haven't really talked about the catapults, really, either, though. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, they've, I don't know, they've changed it so dramatically on a lot well, of levels. It, the, the, it's I, not bad. To be perfectly, I, I mean, let's be real here. I okay. mean, the staggering scope of yes. what was in the books, they mm -hmm. can't possibly oh, no. put Absolutely that in not. Yeah. So something has to give. Uh, I think they've done a pretty decent job. So far, I don't object it's hugely to any yeah. of the changes. Because right. I, I know the books, and I know the movie, or the, what they're doing in the shows. Right. So, I mean, the, the one thing what I, I like is it, it, still, it still makes sense to very people watchable. who have not yeah. wa read the books. Yeah. Very watchable for right. somebody who's never read this thing before. My biggest bitch oh. is, is the stuff that goes beyond the wall. Yeah. Oh. Jon Snow. Did not care for that little change that they mm. did. I like her. You so do I. It. I thought right. that, you know, who... That actress, by the way, is on Downton Abbey and completely different. She's so yeah. good. But, um, yeah, I... Eh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I can divorce myself well enough from it. Just go, it's awesome no matter what. But, you know... I, I have a hard time with all the Theon Greyjoy stuff because I hated him so bad in the books and I hate him so bad in the... In, so awesome. in the series, and I know what's going to happen, and I just, I don't want any, I just... But obviously we're out of time. We are out of time. Bummer. We'll be but back, though. Absolutely. Yeah, you can find us on Twitter, find us on Facebook, find us on YouTube, find us everywhere. <laughs> SliceofSciFi.com, SliceofSciFi.tv. We will love you long time. See we'll you later. Tomorrow. Bye. Bye. So, demonstrating I did not Woo. pay enough attention to the God teases, I have just noticed that wow. right here we're teasing something okay. that's Okay, kind of... yeah, probably because I moved it. But the problem well, is, kind of a then, we, of a show, then we don't hey, have enough teasers, we've we just got it's one, and then, you know what I mean? So, awesome. I need, I'm going to have to figure something out, so I need to... Yeah, sorry, oh, there you go. I didn't so, check it, and when I did... I hit so. up Fong, Fong says, first said he was totally down for doing the uh, doing the zombie thing, I, he sat there and said he found some details online, he says he may not do it, but he will film it and interview people about it for us. Awesome. Great. Okay. Perfect. Uh, Why don't you right, right. It went. Which is, uh, okay, Star Trek is right, then it went to it Smoking, no, that's right, Smoking, Drops next. Drop that, and then the immunization, and then drunk was last. I don't believe. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's right. And that's going out on the feed, so you yes, it is. I that. just got rid of it. There we go. Okay. All right. Uh, what did I just do? I don't know. So I go ahead and finish those, okay. and you're good to go. Okay. That's that's PSA it. Bit. Wait, wait, wait. PSA bit. I didn't write this down. Okay. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> PSA bit. Then it's a PSA bit. Then we're gonna go the into con. that con bit. That's this thing right here. That's that last one. Yep. Then after that, then to the uh, flight test land. And that's it. Room shot. And that's and we're it. Out. Yep. That's the whole. That's the whole show. Room. Then. And then credits. And then so there's all. There was also <laughs> a, a Star Wars PSA. A couple of the budget of Star Wars. I remember as a kid. So I mean these. This speaks to me, Jeffrey. Oh, good. So, I'm here for you, bro. And Mike. That's awesome. That's as well. So, and Tom probably will get will remember him, too. So we'll watch him. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Megan will be like, <clears throat> and then what? 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 I was born in 1983. Mike. Can you hear the drums, what? Fernando? 
I don't have any gain on my mic. No. You don't? No. Really? Well, I can do hello, that. Hello, hello, hello. Testing one, two, three, one, two, three. That's much better. That's a much you. better, yeah. Thank Why? you. So Give much. a man a mic and he's a prima donna. Okay. I, don't have, any, I don't have any gain. I don't, I don't have any gain. I need some gain. I'm a radio guy. I need some gain in my microphone. I need some, I need some, in my I need some loss in my Well, eat the damn thing. That's the whole thing. <laughs> Hello. There Hello. you go. That's I thought better. you were going for a teacher named Fishman. Yeah. Sweet. 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 Mike, Mike, I don't have any huevos in my microphone. <laughs> Mike, I don't have enough manliness in my microphone. Yeah, I need about, uh, <laughs> no, no, just, yeah. kidding. just kidding. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. All right. Here we go. God, this is a tough room. Will the Ender's Game movie be a Kubrickian masterpiece? Somebody thinks so. And that's right, Kubrickian is a word. I invented it just now. Are the neighbors stealing your bandwidth? Forget a new password. We've got a redecorating tip that could help. All that, plus we'll look ahead to the second season of Grimm, check in with the multiverse, visit Flight Test Land, and have a cool discussion about some things that happened when I was a tiny, tiny tot. You do not want to miss this stuff. Again, in all caps, do not. That's all on today's installment of Slice. It said interview. No interview. I didn't even catch that it said interview. Yeah, I know. I know. One, like, well, it's because we were going to have an interview. That's why. Thanks. <clears throat> <laughs> and welcome, everyone, to another slice of sci fi. It's going to be fun. I'm Michael Arman and Gang. I am Brian Brown. I'm Sam Roberts. I'm Brett Phillippe. Nope. What? I'm Brett Phillippe. Oh, yeah, you got me this time. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Tanatomet because I didn't get me. Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. oh. 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 Look out. You have to wear the hat. <laughs> That's oh, it. The cone of shame. The cone Ooh. of shame. Ooh. All right. Let's do some news. Yeah, Tom, Tom. Tom, I'm, there. I'm Tom, Tom Kelly. Yeah, Tom. I'm here. Yeah, yeah. Who, yeah, who cares? Let's move along. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm from Palo Alto. So, I'm out walking. Walking in the streets of Munich. Be careful. I have nothing useful to say about sci-fi because I haven't listened to the recent shows, being oh, that I'm well. walking in the streets of Munich. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. that's no excuse. excuse. Yeah. Yeah. Studio. No excuse at all, awesome. Megan. That's right. Yeah. Great minds think alike. So. Nice. Hmm. Hi, Slicers. It's Aunt B. Hey! Hey! Oh, yeah! I'm what? very busy becoming so uh, Dr. Aunt B. Not yet, ooh. but almost oh, there. Ooh. Anyways, I'm about a month behind. It hurts when I do this. What kind of doctor? As I was listening to the conversation about Michael Bay and what he's going to do with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah. I just started thinking that for poor man. You know what he needs to do is hire somebody to follow like three <laughs> steps behind him and every time he goes, oh, I got an idea go, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll go, oh, hungry, hungry hippos? And you go, no, 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 honey, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Give the explosions, or or say, or say, oh, oh, look, Michael Bay, footage you've done before, you can use it again. Oh, like, oh, there you go. Oh. Or make him angry. Look, Michael Bay, there's Megan Fox. Oh, oh. Good, call. Yeah. good call. Good one. Good one. Aloha, slicers. This, uh, y'all know who I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Tim's comments really solidified my SGU problem. Ah, well. In the opening episodes, I identified four basic groups of people. Military, scientists, politicians, and press. Out mm -hmm. of those four, the military alone has one primary focus. Accomplishment of the mission with the fewest possible casualties. Exactly. Right. Food, medical needs, and basic life support issues were of the utmost importance to Destiny's refugees, and deferring to those trained in disaster response seemed like the smarter thing to do to me. Exactly how was arguing a bill on Capitol Hill going to keep people alive at that point? <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. No, still sounds like the writers just went for the easy early conflict. Mm. But you say it gets better. It yes. does. So Netflix it does. Streaming and I have made a date. And okay. since you've only crushed my soul once by introducing me to Defying Gravity before it was canceled, yes. I figure you're due at least a couple more before I have to make some calls to friends in Arizona with big weapons. Yes, Brian. <laughs> That's oh. a lot of friends you have. Keeping score. I fire Excellent. Well. You know, the fire great well. thing The great thing well. about the state of Arizona is that... Everybody here is armed. Everybody's yeah. armed. So, Everybody's armed. Yeah. Bring it on. Here, yeah. <laughs> I've been thinking about this a lot for... Uh, okay. Because uh, the reality is, is what we noticed off the beginning of this show is that when when it started out, everybody was very clearly defined as black and white, yes. and that's what you're—that's what you're yeah. experiencing right now. 
And what happens, and what they do brilliantly, is they grade everybody yeah. up. Yeah. And it's very quick. Because I did not love it at the beginning. Right? right. It was one of those, like a like a fringe that took me a few episodes yeah. to really get into. And it was mm -hmm. when they got into the real good character development that I was hooked. And exactly. so hopefully you'll have that same experience. And, and don't expect every character to be really well developed. Because there are some of them that just aren't very well That's developed. That's true. Right. I think Megan's doing such a horrible job at the video that next time my uh, Tim's there, he should just sit down and talk on a mic and leave it all to Megan. There you go. Mm. That might be the best. That part. Perhaps, sums it up. perhaps you should watch this episode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, Megan. And future episodes. Yeah, the next, <laughs> next, watch us next week. Yeah, it's, it, it, it's right. yeah, like I've been saying. I mean, yeah. Megan started something here. She said she didn't want any praise for what no, she's doing over here. So there, there, there you go. Step we don't get better with praise, please. <laughs> <laughs> yes, our school system at work. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, with Comcast announcing last week that it will begin charging more than those who download more, uh, charging more to those who download more oh. content. You may be concerned about others borrowing your Wi-Fi signal. Comcast and... is the devil. That is, yeah. yes, that is so true. evil. So, I'm anyways, so... we knew that was going to happen. Yeah, but you may be concerned about others borrowing your Wi-Fi signal, absolutely. right? Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. So, of course, there are security settings for your router, but what? Well, you know, what about taking advantage of an opportunity that spruces up to spruce up your home a little bit in this? Basically, what we have, folks, is Wi-Fi blocking wallpaper. That's called tinfoil. Mm, I wear a hat for <laughs> that stuff. I got hats on all sorts of hats. It's from the it is uh, researchers at the Center Technology du Paper Havre come up with a wallpaper that blocks Wi-Fi and mobile phone signals. I thought it was called Sprint. Yeah, no, it's called uh, uh, an iPhone. Uh, oh, so yeah, Ooh. yeah. The wallpaper, dubbed Meta Paper by its creators. <laughs> Only blocks Wi-Fi and mobile phone signal signals. The wallpaper can be used in places where ringing mobile phones and other electromagnetic disturbances is a genuine problem, such as <laughs> movie the theaters, theater, Ooh, yeah. nice uh, concert halls, or how about hospitals? Hospitals, oh, yeah. okay, airplanes. That's, so. that's good. So this one time on Oahu, <laughs> 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 totally my new T-shirt. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you are totally welcome. Yeah, there, you there you go. That is good. On you. that, we're gonna call it good. Thanks so much, everyone, for tuning in. That's gonna do it for this show. Dude, I so want Stephanie to come out here and she, hang with us. Stephanie, absolutely. Get your butt out here yeah, now. There you go. Come there you on. Go. Out. And right. uh, 206 339 Trek, that's 206 339 8735. We'd love to hear from you next week. Send in your comments. We do some interesting things here. I think it's worth commenting on. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. Shush. <laughs> no, or maybe not. <laughs> Awesome. I'm glad she's back. Right? Yeah. All right. Totally. As you go down those first set of, uh, you know, like those, you down one set of stairs and then the other set of stairs, mm -hmm. they're right there. Yeah. So okay. it's really much Goodbye, easier to get to. Goodbye, Pete. Bye, Goodbye. Bye. Bye. And thanks it's to Brian, I'm going to call a day early. Yay! <laughs> I'm off like a prom dress. Oh, wait. Because there's so many calls during the day. I can switch your phone now if you like. There you go. <laughs> we can do it. Did you say gosh, puppy? Hey, we had a problem here. Say again, please.